Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Beaver Builder CSS grid with the photo module to create a or an really nice looking responsive uh, grid layout. And all it takes is 20 lines of CSS. Uh, right now what I've got is I just have a whole bunch of photo modules. Uh, each module has uh, no padding on them. And some of the modules are different sizes. I have, these are my main, uh, my regular photos. I also have this one. I just want to show you on, I've given a uh, certain size, different class. This one I give it a tall class because it's, um, it spans um, lengthwise. This one, I've got a class called wide attached to them. I've got several of these photos. Um, these are normal, so they don't have any special class on them. This one, I've given it a big class. Uh, and this one, you know, another tall class and another wide class. Basically, I've got three extra classes, tall, big, and wide, and then these other ones are just normal. So what I'm going to do for this example, where we ha I have all these photo modules in a single Beaver Builder column. Uh, we're going to make the column be our uh, CSS grid container, and the modules are the grid items. So I'm going to go to Column Settings, and then here on the Advanced tab, I'm going to scroll down to CSS Grid, Activate CSS to grid, yes, and I'm going to switch it to advanced mode. That way, we can just use the pure, um, the the pure CSS for these things. So now you see that this is turned on. Uh, I've got the dotted lines around each of these grid items now. So the first thing uh, we're going to add, in addition to display grid, is we're going to set up our grid template columns, and then just click that right there, and we're going to do repeat. And then we're going to do autofill. Min max. That means the minimum is going to be 225 pixels, and then the maximum will be one fraction unit. So that gives us our basic grid layout. Um, you can see right now, since each one has a minimum of 25 uh, pixels, uh, if we uh, were to let me let me make this responsive here just a second. All right, so if we were to shrink the the screen size down, um, basically each each size will go to 225 pixels until it can't anymore, and then it'll just switch to the next uh, row, and it'll keep pushing the pictures down like that. So that's the basic setup for the uh, grid. But then there's some more tweaking that we can add that makes it look even better than it was. All right, so going back to the column settings, now what I want to do is I want to specify a certain CSS for uh, the different size pictures. Because I told you I have the different classes on there. First, I want to give it give the grid a gap. We're going to do 10 pixels. Kind of spread it out a little bit. There we go. All right, and then next row, we're going to do another. Um, I didn't mention earlier, since we were working with columns, I've got the short code uh, FL column that'll isolate uh, the uh, particular column that it's in. So this column, we're going to um, we're going to do the let's do the tall class that I added. All right. And then I'm going to tell it for the tall class uh, grid row, and I want it to span two different. I want it to span two rows. So we're going to just type the word span two, just like that. So see how now the tall class is um, spanning two different rows. And then the next one, we'll do uh, the wide class. And then this one, we're going to do grid column. And I want the grid column to span two columns. Oops, I need the word span two. All right, so now you see how the, uh, the wide class is going across two columns. These are the normal ones. And then lastly, we'll do the big class. 
and I not wanted to not only span two columns, I wanted to span two rows. So let me just copy this text here, and that'll tell the big class to span two rows. And up here, I'll do FL column, and then we're going to target both the FL photo content div and the actual FL uh, photo image div. Or I guess it would just be the image. Okay, so now once we do that, I'm gonna tell it width 100%. And that should increase the width so that um, the photos are filling in the entire div. And just to add a little more style, I'm going to give it a border radius of, uh, let's do 10 pixels. Okay. You can see these really nice borders here. Or, you, I'm sorry, you can see the border radius here that looks nice. Now, you'll notice that um, it tries to fill in where, where it can, but you see there, there are these uh, gaps here where it can't quite fill in because, um, for instance, uh, after um, this smaller image right here, there's an open gap, but the picture is a big picture, so it can't fit in there. And same thing, this tall picture can't fit in this small gap. And now that there's a tall gap next to it, this wide picture can't fit there. There's this really cool feature of CSS Grid uh, called Grid Auto Flow. And what we can do is we can go to our grid settings and type grid auto flow and then we can give it a value of dense and once we do that um, the algorithms kick in and it fills in all the gaps that were there before uh, with um, pictures that will fit so now that we've done that you can see that I've got all these really I've got a really nice looking grid uh, everything's filled in um, and it's a responsive grid let me show you when I uh, activate responsive mode you know you can uh, on smaller size devices it'll just keep uh, repopulating uh, the grid filling it in with different um, with different values um, and it's really simple and all, you, all, it, all it uses is the uh, beaver builder photo module and 20 lines of CSS so uh, I hope you find this interesting and maybe you can use it on your site somewhere have a good one bye